Hi, I'm Ray Fremont Jr., Marketing Manager for General Air Products. I'm going to tell you how to adjust the SWP60401U pressure switch. The SWP60401U pressure switch was used on our OL series air compressors. These are the light blue ones that we had in service until about 2011. This pressure switch was factory preset for 27 pounds on, 40 pounds off, and it should always maintain a 13 pound differential. The key to adjusting the pressure switch correctly is knowing which parts you'll be working with. Begin by removing the cover. Note that there are pressure switch adjustment procedures inside the cover of every one of our pressure switches. The first part of the pressure switch I want you to take note of is the electrical connection terminals for incoming power and power to the motor. This is the pressure adjustment screw, which we'll be turning to adjust the pressure range as we move forward. And this is the differential pressure screw. Do not touch the differential pressure screw. Allow me to explain. When we talk about adjusting the pressure on a pressure switch, we're adjusting the cut-in and cut-out pressure simultaneously while leaving the differential pressure unaffected. When the cut-in pressure is reached, the switch sends a signal to the motor to run. When the cut-out pressure is reached, the switch sends a signal to the motor to turn off. When the differential pressure is adjusted incorrectly, these signals are sent too frequently, causing the pressure switch to fail or the compressor to short cycle itself to death. If you still think you need to adjust the differential pressure, please call us at 800-345-8207 to speak with a tech for further instruction. To adjust the cut-in and cut-out pressure simultaneously, you need to turn the pressure adjustment screw on the pressure switch. Now remember, adjusting the pressure switch is not an exact science. Some manufacturing tolerance should be allowed for. Start by turning the pressure adjustment screw one full turn only. Clockwise to increase pressure, counterclockwise to decrease pressure. Once you've made one full turn, let the compressor run. Check the closest pressure gauge to see where the pressure lands. Simply repeat this process until you reach the desired pressure setting. One last thing to remember, whenever you buy a General Air Products fire protection air compressor, you have access to technical support for the entire life of the unit. So whether you have additional questions about pressure switch adjustment or anything revolving around the function of the air compressor, please feel free to give us a call at 800-345-8207. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks.